I've been sitting watching my neighbors on and off for hours. But I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely around Charlotte May. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. Charlotte May is counting on me to find her, but so far I've drawn a blank. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. But by their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? Mr. Morgan is writing missing posters by hand. He's been there all evening. Theodore looks unhappy about I don't know what. He's pacing back and forth. It seems heated. I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. Now, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it? What are you thinking, Annabelle? What can you see? He's evicting one of my neighbors. It's not related to the McKees. She's got a knife. Jesus, she's going to... No. She wants Theo to use it. He doesn't know which one to use. Theo, don't do it. Whatever it is, it, uh, Take pause of yourself. Th 
Theo, who are you talking to? Is that a practice swing? Dear God. What have I just witnessed? Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. No proof. I have no evidence at all. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go. What in God's name? asked me not to get involved, but, but, but this... It's not over until it's over. I think I need to pay the McKees a personal call. I barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May in the McKee's pantry, lying there, helpless. All set up and ready to go. Now, to gather some evidence from the McKees.
When Charlotte May is found, I need to take another holiday. Catherine would love to see Pinwheel again, I'm sure. I thought the days of me developing reel after reel of film were behind me. I almost miss it. Bar the mess. The police are searching out in Riverport. They haven't seen what I have, and it's too soon to involve them. What if I'm wrong? files. Some I'd rather forget. I'll need my bag if I'm going to gather any real evidence. She's worked so hard to get where she is. I'm looking forward to seeing this with Catherine. I just hope they have somewhere to help me in the venue with my chair this time.
Now, to find out what the Lakeys were doing in that pantry. Not much to go on as of yet. I'll see to that. Catherine won't be pleased having to clean up after me. The McKees really did kill Charlotte May last night. There must be some evidence left in their pantry. I wonder if there's anything left to find at all. What if I'm too late? Hello. Hello, Mrs. McKee. We spoke a few days ago. Yes. Uh, please call me Annabelle. Annabelle, of course. Yeah. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to you. That's fine. I'm sorry, how is it I can help, Mr. Conway? Well, it's all a bit sensitive, I'm afraid. I, I wondered if I might have a word in private, if you would. Uh, well, I... Mrs. McKee... Annabelle, I'd rather not state my purpose out here in the hallway where any one of your neighbours might be listening. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. Why, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment? Excellent idea. I promise not to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have your hands full. So, what's the purpose of all this, Mr. Conway? I hope it's not about what we... Well, why don't you get to it? Of course. Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm sure you've heard that I was once a private investigator. Well, nonetheless, Mr. Morgan has asked me if I would look into everyone who knew Charlotte May. I see. And so you've come to look at us. Look, let me be straight. 
I've been an investigator my entire life, and I have a sense about people, you might say. Is that so? I don't think you or your husband have anything to hide. In fact, this might be a waste of time altogether, but I think it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease. If I ask some basic questions anyway, what do you say? Well, however we can help. As long as it's not too long is all. Oh, no, of course not. All I need you to do is tell me, in your own words, what you did on the night that Charlotte May was taken. Right. But I thought you... Before you begin, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind if I used your lavatory? No, not at all. It's right behind you. Thank you. And please, Annabelle, you look worried. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. She's lying. It's written all over her. Time to find out why. It's a doctor's note addressed to Annabelle. Mr. Conway, can I offer you a cup of tea? Yes, uh, two sugars. thought she'd never leave. A tram ticket. Annabelle clearly didn't use this tram ticket. I apologize. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were going to tell me what you were doing on the night that Charlotte May was taken. I've been thinking about it, and there's not much to say. Literally anything would help. Well, I remember it clearly. I think everyone here knows exactly where they were. It was so shocking. Uh, I'd made Theo his tea in the afternoon at about three, and wrapped it up for him to have later. He was working all day over at Levy's garage, and performing later that night. I went to the shops at some point, I think. I didn't see Charlotte May at all that day, and I was out of town for most of the night. I think the last time I saw her was on the Wednesday. She was playing outside between her homeschooling, as I recall. I'll stop you there, if you don't mind. Instead of Theo's performance, I think it would be more beneficial to talk about what you and your husband were doing whilst Charlotte May was being taken. Right. I see. What time was that? You don't remember clearly. I was sitting in my flat at the time. Ten o'clock is when I first noticed something was happening. I had a good view from my window. I imagine you'd have a good view from your kitchen window also, perhaps even your pantry. Actually, Mr. Conway, I'm sorry. I feel awfully uncomfortable talking about this without Theo here. I think it's best I don't answer anything he might object to. You're right. I completely agree. He usually takes his break around now, does he not? Perhaps. Would it be possible of you to go and get him so that we might 
continue the conversation. I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Conway. In fact, I think I'd feel better if we ended the conversation here, if it's all the same to you. No, you're right. If you don't feel it appropriate, then best not to bother him. Thank you. I was hoping to clear it all up today, you see. I'd hate to have to bother you tomorrow or the day after, or even the day after that. It's not in my character to be a nuisance. However, I did promise Mr. Morgan. Perhaps I'll return later on. Wait. If it's not going to take too long, I could fetch him now and we could resolve the Mrs. matter. Mrs. McKee, if you would do that for me, it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease, I'm sure. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, I think it's best you come with me. I fear I'd only slow you down. The stairs, you see. No, I'll wait here for you. Fine, just... Wait here. Now, to get that key down. Annabelle was holding this last night. It doesn't look as though they used it. She never did make me that cup of tea. A rug has been steam cleaned. The same one they carried out last night. The dates don't match up. moving. Almost. Well, that was easier than I thought. Oh, it's locked. Were you in here? Give me something. Nothing useful. They have an allotment. Good idea. Looks as though they scrubbed the place clean last night.
Please let me be wrong. So, I'm too late. There's, there's nothing left to see. Oh, they're not back yet. Then there's still time to search the flat. There's a note in the fireplace on the other side. Theo's room, no doubt. Something's blocking these keys from the other side. Music sheets. Presumably Theo's songs. You know. Oh, good lord. I'm gonna have to start this whole thing over again. Locked. How does one open a piano front? Forty-five pounds. If I were a lesser man, I'd take it and live comfortably for the rest of the year. There's no way Theo's boss pays him this much. I wonder what was last written on this notepad. There's a note in the fireplace. I can't get it out with my bare hands.
seems to be a list of medicines. Nothing interesting. something. Well, there's no date. Can't link it to the kidnapping. Theo has a sister back home somewhere. Annabelle? It's Shirley. Damn. It's Are Annabelle's sister. If you're in there, I want to say sorry about the other night. Are you there? I love you, Annie. You know that, don't you? Everything I say, I... I say it because I want to protect you. Anyway, I'm... posting the key back through the door. I love you. Me to say. I don't know. Just stall him. He's been in there for ages. Like he's a so coming why back. Did you leave him then? Do you really want me to go through that right now? Okay, okay. Just don't say anything that he might. He might what? Well, you know how you are. <laughs> Do you really think I'm that stupid? Now shh. Let's just go inside. I'm waiting for you.
For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. But in 1954, something terrible happened that I could not avoid. The abduction of young Charlotte May. And overnight, everyone became a suspect. I wouldn't be surprised if she saw the kidnapper. One question was eating away at me. How well did I really know my neighbors? I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. You asked me to lie to the police. To your daughter, no less. Not everyone in Daily of You is as they seem, Mr. Conway. How could the kidnapper have come to be in the possession of a key? You keep this kind of thing up, you're going to end up hurt. Or worse. Where is my daughter, Mr. Conway? I could feel it again. That drive. That first pull of the yard. She'd been missing for days. The police were getting nowhere. Someone needed to do what had to be done. No matter the cost. <laughs>